Severe thunderstorms right now. Yeah, so we had a severe thunderstorm warning over Clackamas County. Very strong thunderstorms just popped up over the mountains there. And so some of that trying to push towards the Colton area, producing hail and frequent freak, frequent lightning. And you can see a very strong storm still continuing uh, to develop and move to the north and west. Now, the severe thunderstorm warning has expired. It expired just a few minutes ago, but this still is a very intense storm. And you can see the deadly lightning that's still coming down all around it. And then if you look deep in this cell, uh, you can still see some deep reds and purples indicating that there is some significant hail that's likely coming down and reaching the ground at this point. But right now it again is right out over the mountains. They are heading towards uh, Colton and over near Bagby Hot Springs, that area. Now this whole thing is going to shift to the north and west. So watching it really closely as it will be pushing into the valley and eventually working its way up towards the Portland metro area. Uh, we'll have to keep a close eye on any thunder that could pop up here. So I'll track it for you and time it out as we continue through the next hour or so. It's going to continue with its momentum heading up to the north and west, likely starting to impact uh, Mount Hood Village up towards uh, I-84 and out towards the Gorge area. This is through 7 o'clock, and then we're just trying to get clipped here in the Portland area. But there is going to be that potential that we could see a stray thunderstorm pop up as this rolls by because what happens is you have this all this cool air that comes down out of these thunderstorms, and when it mixes with the hot air, we're in the low 80s right now here in Portland, it can cause like a domino effect and more thunderstorms storms to develop around it. So that's what we're going to be watching here for the valley. Uh, the focus time would be between 7 and 9 o'clock here. After that, the sun's setting, temperatures are cooling, and then uh, these things tend to wind down. And then as we go through the rest of the night, it'll just mainly be on the partly cloudy side. You can see some of the cloud cover that has started to roll in from some of these storms that have been developing. Back to our south and east, we're in the low 80s, so still for now. And again, it's another record for us. The sixth time we've hit the 80s this month, making it the most that we have seen 80 degree temperatures in Portland uh, ever on record at PDX for the month of April. 79 up in Vancouver. We're in the mid to upper 70s up and down I-5. Coastal areas have definitely cooled down. We're in the 50s there. Central Oregon cooling down too in the 60s and low 70s uh, where uh, those thunderstorms have been developing in Central Oregon too. So it started to cool temperatures that, down there as well. So overnight tonight, 54 degrees. Any thunderstorms around this evening diminishing after 9 o'clock. And we'll see southwest winds at about 5 to 10. Bringing it down for tomorrow. We start off with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow looks like a pretty nice day. It won't be as hot. If it's been a little too warm for you, I think tomorrow will be uh, the day just for you. We'll top out in the mid 70s. We'll have partly sunny skies. And then by the time we wrap things up tomorrow evening, we'll hang on to that dry time because tomorrow night, more showers will be rolling through and potentially a little bit of thunder as well. So as we play it out for the rest of tomorrow, we stay dry. Clouds increase by 7 p.m. Showers develop from the south heading north and between 7 and 9. We could be looking at some scattered showers rolling through and then it'll stay wet at times overnight tomorrow night. We head into Friday. Friday looks much more gray. It's going to be cloudy. Showers on and off for a lot of the day and you'll notice a big cool down for your Friday. So here's your forecast for Thursday. Highs in the mid 70s, partly sunny, a mainly dry day, wetter by evening. Central and Eastern Oregon back into the upper 70s and low 80s by Friday. It's back to the 50s and 60s for all of us. And we're going to be looking at wet weather for a lot of the day. And it stays pretty unsettled through the weekend, too. Here's your seven day forecast. Highs in the low 60s, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're back to the upper 50s. And then we go into next week and it stays a little unsettled with temperatures right around the low 60s, which is really where we should be for this time of the year. I just think it's going to feel a lot cooler because we've kind of gotten used to this taste mm -hmm. of summer lately. So the t-shirts and the flip-flops and the suntans are going to be going out the window <laughs> for a little while And here. the tube tops. And the tube tops. I know you love those, Dan. You love your tube tops. <laughs>